time of day for crocodiles. They're basking out on the banks just before they lose the afternoon sun. So if we've got any chance of seeing slides or signs of crocodiles, now's the time. And when the sun finally sets, we find it even easier to get up close to them. The same crocodile that will slide away and hide invisibly in daylight will just sit there at night while we can cruise in to observe them at close quarters. This cute little blighter is not far past the hatchling stage. Its survival instincts are already well developed and it's out hunting food wherever it can find it. Baby crocodiles are real little battlers. From the moment they emerge from the egg, they're looking for prey. And if you get close enough, they won't hesitate to sink their tiny little teeth right into your finger. The crocodiles are easier to sneak up on at night. They use the cloak of darkness for their camouflage. And with the spotlight, I can pick up their eye shine and see them. They don't realize that I'm onto them. Spotlighting is a great way to check the health of crocodile populations. And in this stretch of mangroves, everything looks great. There's plenty of babies and plenty of food for them to survive and thrive. Ooh, this one's a little bigger. 12, maybe 18 months of age. Eat good sized prawns. They love to eat prawns. Sit in the shallows, whack, strike out at them. Decent sized fish, take small rodents, little reptiles, frogs. Love to eat amphibians if he gets up into the fresh water. At this juvenile stage of life, they have to be opportunistic. Baby crocs will take on anything that moves and that they can easily overpower. They have to, or they wouldn't survive. They can torpedo straight through the water, in between the mangroves and over the muddy banks. They use a combination of techniques to get their food. It's all instinct. No one taught this little blighter to snap at the surface, but it works. Have a look at this little guy. He's actually hunting insects, little bugs right at the surface of the water. Now he's going to hunt anything that's smaller than he is that he can overpower easily, whether it's little crustaceans, bugs, spiders, anything he can get a hold of. Even these little fish are in danger. Just about everything is the micro version of the behavior you'll see in fully grown crocodiles, and it's all instinctive. Once they're established in the water, their mother leaves them to catch their own food. How's the way the little blighter waited in the shallows? Whack! Snapped out. This is perfect training for his ambush techniques because when he gets to be an adult, he's going to be ambushing big prey sources like wild pigs, kangaroos and stuff. And have a look at this swimming style. He's just like his dad. Judging by the number we saw overnight, there must be dozens of baby and juvenile crocodiles in the area. Odds are, only one in every 200 will survive to reach the size of this big bloke. What a beauty! We continue our search in the mangroves and estuaries, looking in the big waters. It isn't long before we start spotting mature crocs. And from the air, we get a good overall picture of their entire habitat. Down there. Oh, and it's another beauty, skimming through the murky water. Our survey confirms the adult population is healthy, but only here, in the remotest part of Australia. The main reason they're holding their own in Cape York Peninsula is the lack of people pressure. Almost all of this vast area is a true wilderness and virtually inaccessible. As youngsters, they may have their enemies in the wild, but that's not going to threaten the species or even a local population. The biggest threat to the crocodile is conflict with humans and especially destruction of habitat. 
This bloke hates the chopper. He strikes and heads straight back into the mangroves. Steve spotted something that demonstrates the awesome power the saltwater crocodile really has. It's a very big croc and it's been feeding on a fully mature sea turtle. It's a big croc, all right. The croc's still in there. He won't move far from his kill. And even though he'll be wanting to protect his meal, Steve's going down for a closer look. You can see this big, standard, horseshoe-shaped slide. And it's from a 16-footer. I'd say 16 plus. And have a look around here. I'm just surrounded by turtle gizzards. There is entrails absolutely everywhere. Have a look at this. I'm not game to go out too much further because I don't want to get within range. Whatever killed this turtle was big, really big. big enough to crunch through the shell and eat the entire front part of it. Have a look at the teeth marks that are gouged right into its plastering. You can see the legs have been ripped off. Big female turtle. Still blood coming out of it. Tell you what, I'm nervous. Just that little bit too close to the water for my liking. Big croc could be sitting there in ambush and you'd never know it. This mud is boggy. Really boggy. Pigs. A herd of them foraging in the salty swamplands behind the beach. Crocs just love them. They're a real delicacy, one of their favorite foods. These aren't your average domestic porkers. They're wild and tough. They bite. They've got tusks, and they call the big guys razorbacks. It's kind of hard to see from the air, but that nice tuft of hair right up their back onto their neck is why they got their name, Razorbacks. And if Steve's real careful, maybe we'll get to see one up close. But don't count on it, because they really bite. Gee, Steve loves these pigs. Unfortunately, they are dangerous and one of the worst introduced pests in Australia. Gotcha. You're all right. Come on, mate. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. Have a look at this girl. Isn't she gorgeous? She's got a beautiful haircut. You can see why they get the name Razorback. And this is a fully grown sow. A lactating female. You're all right. You're all right, sweetheart. You're okay. You're okay. Isn't she beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. You're all right. You're all right. And it's a lactating female. Don't bite me now. So you can see her little. Oh, you don't like me playing with those, do you? She's got some babies around here. Look at those hooves. Oh, gosh, I love pigs. I just love them. You're a good girl. Go on, then. Get out of it. Get out. Run. Now, no fighting. Quick, quick, quick. She's a little bit funny, <laughs> a little bit grumpy. I think she wanted to bite me. 